Hello guys, Nikhil Lutki here. You are watching Support Minia. Today I'm gonna talk about how to integrate uh, YouTube Player in your Android application. Okay, it's really simple. Quickly I'll go through it. Search like uh, YouTube Player API in Android. Okay, so this is gonna be the first link which you will guide you to the player integration this is all about player integration these many steps you need to follow to get that uh, player integration into existing app first thing is download some of the uh, api client apis and uh, java docs okay so if we, you will click on it it will navigate you to uh, to download this zen in my case i have already downloaded so let's see what all things involved in it uh, so here are some docs which will point to the sample references then the, the major library so this is what library which we are going to include in our existing project uh, some sample is given i will not go much more uh, detail into it but if you will uh, load this project in studio and if you run this so something like this output you will get okay, where you can see a demo of uh, video wall video list then the simple player view simple player fragment and so on in our case what we are going to discuss is standalone player what is that hmm? so this is what all about uh, the downloaded stuff uh, uh, is present in this zip file so we'll move further you first have to register your application to access youtube uh, apis i'm gonna click here so this is what the registration steps you need to follow you first have to go to developer console then create one project then search for uh, you know, youtube data uh, apis and basically you'll get a uh, api credential so we'll go one by one so i'm gonna click on uh, google developer console here it is there is no projects available here so i'll quickly create one project i'll give a name as youtube player okay uh, and i'm gonna create it yeah here it is it's it's creating still uh, created can you see it yeah then we'll go to uh, api library here a lot of libraries are available we'll search for uh, youtube but we'll uh, use youtube data api version 3 just select it and click on enable so basically api key you're gonna generate it simply we'll create these credentials we are going to use is for android application we want to access the public data so we'll use uh, the, uh, this then uh, then we'll click on what credentials so this is what the api key available for uh, sample applications even though you will add this uh, key or even though you will modify this key so that doesn't matter uh, okay uh, but the testing purpose google will give you uh, uh, will not restrict anything but yeah for, but for production you require this uh, api access okay so this api key is essential for production moment okay click on done i want to restrict this key for my production moment so what i'll do i'll simply click on the api uh, this highlighted section i can simply give a name it as uh, uh, you then this is for the android applications and i can generate the key store okay before that uh, uh, i have already created a sample project so this is what my youtube player is what my sample project we have to add the uh, YouTube library into uh, our existing project. So I'll add that library into lips folder. So here it is. The library, I simply copy it. Copy. And then paste it over here. Paste. Then you simply need to right click on it. And uh, add as a library yeah click on ok after this you can see it in build.gradle here it is this library is uh, whatever we added is uh, part of this gradle file now we will move again back to main activity but here make sure that uh, 
uh, instead of app compact activity you should add uh, youtube base activity then we'll add our player into our xml file i'll simply remove this and uh, instead of constraint layout i'll add some linear layout i don't want to make a complex uas so that's why then uh, my youtube player view so this is what uh, we required then match parent then height is uh, wrap content uh, i don't want anything else and uh, yeah obviously id is required so i'll give it as clear so that's all uh, from design point of view now i'll initialize this control here youtube clear view is clear then youtube clear view and view by id then i will initialize it then player dot initialize okay so this is what the uh, uh, function present in that uh, this uh, jar it requires is uh, uh, two parameters basically uh, first is uh, uh, api key or we can say as a developer key and then the on initialize uh, listener okay so uh, first of all we'll uh, create a global variable here uh, private final string api key what is this API key? We are going to copy it from here, this key. Okay, simply copy it and paste it over here. And uh, then the private final uh, thing. This another variable I am going to create is for uh, my video code. Okay, so this is what which video I want to play. So that video code is required. So uh, what is that? So I want to uh, open up this video. So this is what the code. So I'll just copy this code and paste it over here. Okay. So this uh, video I want to open it. So now my API key is ready. My first parameter is API key I have added. Then my second parameter is on initialize uh, listener. So new on initialize listener okay so these two overrided functions are there is uh, for on initialize success and on initialize failure we will first check then basically uh, this youtube player should load video and the video code is this and there are some player styles are also available okay so if i search for style so six player style is there and what it requires is a player style okay so youtube player dot uh, player style dot uh, so these three styles are available chromeless default and minimal okay i will go uh, one by one and i will give you example also uh, so we will first uh, select default initialize failure is show it in close uh, this is what uh, result i want to print so result dot uh, print that's it now i'll run the project before that uh, i forgot to generate a uh, package name and a one for fingerprint okay uh, uh, in android uh, you should select the sign in report make sure you should click on this and then this is what the sq1 uh, simply copy this paste it over here and package name I'll choose this form dot support linear dot youtube player I'll click on save save so it got saved and there is no yellow mark so I can use this for my production moment and it's pretty cool you can also reset these keys okay you can edit API keys you can generate new and so that validation will not be there so it's a good yeah we will run this application
before this uh, we should add uh, uh, internet permission to our uh, manifest okay so users permission internet okay pretty good now we'll run the application oh wow that's what we are looking for right select on it so these are the options, default options I am, uh, uh, I, am I was telling you that uh, play, pause and then the seek bar then uh, uh, some uh, then maximize the video and uh, minimize it okay then some of the options like uh, quality and all so basic features whatever we will get in YouTube video or YouTube application so all those uh, are part of a player style default now instead of default we will go with home list okay let's see so here you go so if i click on it see nothing is happening which means if you don't want to show any brand uh, or something that youtube or uh, any feature then basically you can simply load your video into uh, this player okay? then we will change it to the last one which is minimal let's run it again oh that's good so this is what the progress bar over here you can play and pause so that functionality is present as well as uh, the progress bar is there okay so this is what uh, part of our minimal uh, so this is all about the uh, youtube player integration in your application i hope you like this video and subscribe to my channel and share this video thank you so much guys